Hello, and welcome to Three Minute Gaming. I'm Nathan, and I'm going to take this game with your time and bandwidth. Today's game is Gunfire Reborn. FPS co op roguelite sounds pretty great, yeah? Is Gunfire Reborn as good as the sum of its parts? Gunfire Reborn is currently available on PC and Xbox with PlayStation and Twitch coming soon. It is also available on Xbox Game Pass, though if you wish to buy it, it is $20. And the game will last you 30 plus hours to get through with its multiple characters and levels. So, what exactly is Gunfire Reborn? Well, as mentioned, it is a co op first person roguelike with an emphasis on elemental synergies, builds, and a variety of characters to unlock. The main loop is about as roguelike as you can get. You traverse through three, four to get the true ending, biomes, gathering resources, weapons with random attributes, and killing enemies to gain power and levels. At the end of each biome is a boss, and should you die, you lose everything but a persistent currency, which you can then use to upgrade all your characters for further runs. And the more you kill certain enemies or do certain things, the more new stuff will be unlocked in the future. Standard stuff. The actual in-game gameplay itself is where things get a little more interesting, as Gunfire Reborn has multiple characters to choose from, each with their own unique parameters, as well as a special secondary and primary ability. The secondaries range from something as simple as grenades to something more complex like a lightning bolt, and the primary abilities are the character's defining move, which can be anything from a stasis lock attack to ability to dual wield, and so on. In addition to these abilities, each character also has their own unique level up tree. At the end of each stage, you'll get a goblet, which will provide you with a new ability. Each ability can be tiered up to three times for maximum potency, and they often are the driving force around how your character build will go for that run. For example, the dog can either go into buffing all of his explosive damage, or you could go deep into his dual wielding ability instead. It's these unique modifiers that will affect both your run and play style. You also find scrolls throughout the world that augment your abilities additionally, that will affect your build as well. The shooting itself is decent, but it's spiced up with the absolutely insane number of unique guns, all of which roll with unique attributes as well. Guns pull from three different ammo types, they can only hold two guns at once, and they also have one of three elements, fire, acid, or shock. Those from Earlish Borderlands will be right at home here as enemies have different health bars that indicate which of these elements they are weak to. While the game is playable in single player, it feels designed around co-op, as when in co-op, you can pick down teammates up, while in solo, you only get one revive, and the only difference being enemies have more health, which means with a good team, you can make up for each other this elemental weakness and become Death Balls of Fury Vengeance. So all in all, Gunfire Reborn is a roguelike co-op first-person shooter with an emphasis on tons of crazy build diversity and weapons, but pretty bog standard aside from that. So what did I like about Gunfire Reborn? Well, there are a crazy amount of synergies across multiple weapons, characters, and builds that lead to you being hilariously overpowered or having obscene combos. Also, I found the loop to be very addicting, especially if you're playing with friends, as they're always unlocking something new or powering up your character for the next go at it. And speaking of playing with friends, co-op is by far the best way to play it, as again, teammates can pick you up, but also having multiple characters to fill weak points in your build is very fun. When it comes to the bad, gating soul essence is a massive grind, particularly if you want the new characters, as full runs only usually net around 200 to 300. Additionally, the game is really buggy, especially on the Xbox PC Game Pass versions, with mistranslated text, multiple crashes, weird multiplayer bugs, and even some game-breaking ones like locking the character and removing all actions. And lastly, this game is extremely RNG-centric, especially early on, and as you can't re-roll level up abilities, you could get completely hosed on a run early on with no recourse. As you know, I rate games here on a three-point scale, must play, maybe consider don't bother. I think Gunfire Reborn is a maybe consider, but is definitely a hidden gem. It is very rough around the edges, and its core shooting isn't anything to write home about, but it supplements that with both its crazy build synergies, nuts weapons, and really engaging co-op. While as a solo experience, it'll probably burn people out, especially considering its grind. If you have a friend or three willing to dive in, you'll find plenty of great roguelike shooty goodness in Gunfire Reborn. And that is all I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching. If you played Gunfire Reborn, if you played it with friends, let me know in the comments, but regardless, grab some buddies and go check this one out.